Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the second annual TRR's Coaster Awards and this one is for 2017. There are going to be awards based on many different categories so without further ado let's get straight in to the first category. My personal best new coaster of 2017. I got out to a few new parks this year, so this is the coaster that tops the lot from all of them. And taking the award is Taran at Fantasialand. Brilliant coaster. It's got everything. It's intense. It's got airtime. It's smooth. It's got brilliant launches. It is easily my new top coaster from this year. And my second category of the year is my best water ride of the year. And now this isn't necessarily a new one. And so taking the award this year, the second year on the run, it is Valhalla. Amazing theming on this one. Brilliant drops, an absolute soaker. And the soundtrack on it is incredible as well. It's just the all-round package for a dark ride slash water ride. And that brings us on to the best dark ride category. The winner of this one is Arthur and the Kingdom of the Mini Moys at Europa Park. Arguably a coaster, but also part dark ride, so it's qualified for this category and it has very easily topped it. It's got incredible theming throughout, it uses everything from smell pods to brilliant animatronics to screens. It's got some of the best audio on a ride as well and the way it's all incorporated into kind of a powered inverted coaster really does help it as well. And now a bit of a more negative one, this is the worst ride of the year award and this one is being regretfully handed to Crazy Leap at Breen Leisure Park. It was atrocious, I'm not gonna lie. I was for the first time in a long time actually scared halfway round this and not because I was scared of the loop being too scary for me but because I was scared of the headache I was about to receive. This was a proper lean forward or your head will be screwed once you get off this. And I think the worst part about it was I saw most people getting off it smiling, saying it's the best thing they've ever been on. Next up, it is the best new park I experienced this year, so not counting any of the ones I've been to in the past, this is the best new park of the year. And they've already claimed one of the awards this year, it is Europa Park. Absolutely incredible park, it's got everything going for it and it's a great day out. It's got family fun, it's got thrills, it's got theming, it's got everything. It's got a great coaster collection as well. So really intense coasters such as Vodin and then amazing coasters such as Blue Fire. So it's just got everything there. Next up is the best food category and the winner of this one is the Alton Towers Roller Coaster Restaurant. Sure, it's pricey, but in terms of theme park food, it's incredible. And the whole experience with the track and the plates on the track is very, very fun as well to watch your food swirl down to your table. Next up is the best theming category, and the winners of this one are Europa Park and Fantasia Land, the two major new parks I got to this year. I did get to all the new parks for the first time this year, but these are the two biggest I went to and they were the two best. Theming, incredible. The Europa Park is incredibly immersive in terms of its European areas, but then Fantasialand. Some of the areas such as Klugheim and the Chinese area and Africa were so brilliantly themed and the Mexican area. Immersive, but then in Klugheim, it takes theming to the next level. Well then guys, that does just about wrap up the awards for this year. Tell me who you think should have won in the comments below and leave a like if you liked the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Until next time guys, thanks for watching and goodbye.